What's up guys, you're watching another episode of Third Coast Fishing and this is the boat restoration project that we're doing. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up for this video so we can keep making them. And uh, today we are going to start sanding and getting ready for paint. So we're gonna sand and paint prep everything. Uh, we've already got a lot of it kind of done from throughout the, the whole process we've been doing. So we've had to sand some stuff to uh, you know fiberglass and stuff like that so all right i'm just gonna show you what we got so i've already came through here and i've already grinded all this i installed the light okay so i got all this this is all ready to get another coat to fill in small spots like that i took these caps off we are the motor is trash so we're going to take this off throw this away or sell it for parts or something like that. We're gonna take this off and we're gonna fill in with uh, resin here. I took those caps off, they're right here. We're gonna take these to work and, you know, fix them up, fill up these holes and, uh, you know, make it look basically brand new again. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing with this here. I took off all the cables and stuff that were all coming out. I don't know if you noticed they were all spread throughout the boat, but I took them all out. So we don't have to worry about those. When we start sanding and painting this, it was all in the way, so it's not in the way anymore. Stick with us, man, we're getting it done. Uh, I'm gonna sand this, so I'll show you a little bit of the sanding on the outside. And oh yeah, look, I also took all these things off the back that were drill through we're gonna fill in all these little holes and uh make it brand new again i don't know if i'm gonna put those flappers back on it but we'll see got it all sanded and uh i put another coat to try to fill up these holes a little bit more so you can see the different colors this is where i sanded it and this is where i filled it in probably gonna have to go through and do it again because you can see like that one it's not completely full start sanding on this thing and uh, get it looking like brand new so this is what it looks like I sanded a little bit right here already that was so I can fill that hole in so I'm gonna sand the whole thing all right got her all sanded light get her all sanded Touch up a few little chips here and there. But right now, we got it all taped off. We're gonna paint the inside. As I get done, I'll get back to you. All right, got it all painted. Looking good. So I'm gonna let that dry. And I got two coats on it. Let that dry, peel the tape up, and then re-sand the inside of that lip. All right, so we got the motor off. Check it out. Bang on. Got that old broken ass piece of junk off of there. I pulled this off. The uh, put some kind of sealant on here so that's good we're gonna go back over it with some uh, resin I took that off so we're gonna sand all this get all that off I took the bolts out uh, we're gonna sand all this up here we're gonna fill all this little spot it's not rotten but you know we're just gonna fill it whatever we can with resin sand it all right got all that Whatever that stuff was, I don't even know what it was. But I got it all cleaned up. Got the inside all sanded. Now I'm gonna sand. 
a little bit out here and around these edges. Then I'm gonna put some tape along here to kind of make like a, a wall. And I'm just gonna fill it in with resin. All the way, fill up all that stuff like that. That right there. I'm just gonna fill it all up with resin so it doesn't rot anymore. All right, we got this all screwed together. Just put a couple of screws. This is the leaning post. And I'm going to fill these up with resin. And then it's all going to be painted. All right, we put what I hope is the final coat on this. This was where the old glove box was. So I didn't want it. I wanted to put a little flat screen here. So that was my plan. So I covered it up. Everything else on here is pretty much done. We've got a couple little spots we need to do right here this was a big crack i fixed that already so then we got to paint the inside we're going to paint the inside of this the same color as that out there all right so right now i am painting the underside of the center console I already got half of it painted we're going to get to this side and we're going to paint this side and you know up on the edges up there and yeah we're going to get this done there you go, got it all painted. I'm using a light to show you because it's not really bright in here. That's the half I already did, so it's gonna be dull and not glossy like this. Okay, right now we are prepping this and getting ready for paint. We are cleaning it with acetone. Just wiping it down with some acetone. We're gonna get ready to paint this. All right, I got the first coat on. It's looking pretty good, not bad. You see it in the sun, you're gonna definitely need another coat. But, yeah. You can see your reflection, you're going the right direction, you know what I mean? There's some little knit gnats here and there, but I'm not really worried about it. We've got it all sanded down the sides, the bottom, the back. It's where that aluminum plate was. Everything's all sanded. Today we're gonna paint this section. We got a couple of spots right here we gotta to touch up and sand. We're gonna use this. Try to get it in there. The DA wouldn't fit in there, so I'm gonna use that. And we're gonna paint all this stuff. It's all gonna be black, gloss black. This is gonna look the same color as the rod holders that I painted. All right, so we're gonna sand these little spots here. These ones here. And this. And then we're gonna clean all this with acetone and tape this off. And we're gonna tape off this line right here and follow it all the way across to over there. And then we're gonna tape this section off right here all along all around the whole front and we're gonna paint it gray from here up it's gonna look cool from here down it's gonna be white rhino lining so it's actually uh t-rex paint t-rex lining so we're gonna get in here and get all this stuff out sweep it all and get it ready for some paint all right, got it taped off over here. Got it all taped off. Got it all taped off in the back over here. All right, we're ready to paint. So I already started a little bit of paint on this side. You can see it. Not too bad. I'm not a painter. But it looks good. Alright, here you go guys. Got it all painted for the first coat. Not looking too bad, man. It's exciting getting paint on here though. I'll probably put another coat on today. 
and then I'll have to put one more coat on and then I can put the white so you know there it is it's getting there we got the second coat on it's looking good I got this tarp up because it was really sunny check it out it's looking good got bugs and stuff all in the paint but whatever that's what I could do in the yard so we got this we're gonna do the spray and bed liner all on this uh, here in the next day or two this stuff is drying pretty quick like so that's good I went did away with that aluminum piece and probably these aluminum pieces too because uh, it just looks so much cleaner like this so I'm probably just gonna leave it like this looks good man I like it guys so we are about to do the spray and bed liner for the bow restoration here. the kenner 16 we've already got the gray put on there and we are going to tape up and put plastic over the edges and tape everything down here so it doesn't get any bed liner anywhere uh, we're going to sweep this we're going to acetone it and then we're gonna spray bed liner. So enjoy the music and here's the time lapse. What's up guys, right now we're painting some of the small stuff. Check it out and give you a little ginger at it. We're gonna paint all this stuff. This is for the gas tank, fuse box, the old inlet, uh, the shifter, the shifter, the shifter, the shifter, the shifter, the shifter and the steering wheel. So yeah, we're gonna paint all that stuff. We're just gonna rattle can that stuff, just spray paint it. And it should be all right not really that bad all right all right we got everything painted We also did one coat of the blue on the center console last night. It's dry. It does need some more, but I mean, it's coming out all right. You can see a little bit of the brush strokes right there, but hopefully that'll come out in the third coat. We did the live well slash cooler, repainted it. Looks great, looks brand 
brand spanking new. Let's see if I can get some of that shine. Oh, look at that. Yes, you can see it's just the first coat. So we're gonna do three coats on this bad boy. There it is. Two coats on that already. Uh, right now I am waiting for more paint to come from Amazon. So we've got this all painted. Get this good and painted, it's all done. Got that, got both sides of that. That's done, it's just I'm waiting on the material and the foam pad. To all right, we got it all bondoed up. Now we are going to sand it all off. Got the bondo all done and sanded. Fill up the holes. Fill up all that stuff. It's nice and smooth now. So once I paint it, you won't even know. <laughs> 